Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number one. It is a wet layup Nomex cord carbon panel. Very light skins, 200 gram carbon on 9 millimeter, 40 kilogram Nomex honeycomb core. It's bagged in two separate operations so that each skin comes out flat and shiny. And we don't have to worry about resin running down into the cells of the honeycomb core. The resin is a 5 to 1 room temperature cure epoxy sold by Jamestown Distributors under the Total Boat brand. We're doing this in a pretty cold room so the resin viscosity is really high. Um, and I've got the carbon laid out on a Teflon surface table. I'm going to wet it through the first skin. I've taped the carbon down in the corners to keep it from sliding around. While I wet it out with the squeegee, working from the middle, because it's cold, the resin is pretty thick, and it's not working through the material as well as it would in warmer weather. So I'm going to flip the sheet of carbon over with the idea that I'm getting a resin rich surface trying to get as nice a surface finish as possible on this single skin of material with as little resin as possible we'll see how it works out I'm gonna add just a little bit more epoxy to the dry side and wet it out the batch of epoxy was four ounces and I'm building the panel about 20 inches by 16 inches. And the final piece is going to be cut out to one square foot and there'll be some extra to do some tests with. So I've got it all wet out here. I'm going to lay the honeycomb material on and grab my wood sticks that are going to form a perimeter to keep the vacuum bag from crushing the edges of the honeycomb. Just going to set the sticks down on the wet material so the bag bridges over and doesn't put pressure sideways on the edge of the honeycomb. And from here I'll just load up my bag stack, which is just peel ply, perforated release film, breather, and the bag. Here goes the peel ply. And this is really just here to wet out or to keep the vacuum spread out and to keep any resiny nasty bits from sticking to anything. Um, I probably don't need the perforated film but I have it so I'm going to use it. And the breather is four ounce lightweight breather and off to the edge I'm going to fold it over to make a place for my vacuum puck. Got to grab the vacuum puck out of the drawer and set it off in the corner where it's not going to get any resin sucked into it, hopefully. That tape was just to keep resin from getting where I'm going to stick the bag down now, because if you get resin on the tacky tape, it's bad news all around. So I'm working around here. I'm quick. Three times speed. Sealing the edge of the bag in the middle, putting the pleats where they provide a little bit of extra material um, of bag around the edge of the wood frame. Always keeping the bag symmetrical and the pleats mirrored across the bag. So now I'll put a little slit, put the vac quick connect through, hook it up to my little low vac pump, and suck it down. 
I'm only putting about 23 inches of mercury on this. It's not a full vacuum. It doesn't really matter. It's just there to clamp the honeycomb down into the wet carbon. I'll let this sit here and uh, come back to it in about a day. Here's the peel ply pulled off, showing the honeycomb, the frame. And what I'm going to do now is wet out the other skin and flip this over into the wet carbon. There's the back of it. Much more porous than I would have liked. I'm going to try not flipping the carbon this time, see if it comes out any different. I think the cold temperature and the thickness of the resin is really giving me some porosity trouble. Uh, that and just there's not a lot of resin in here. I'm really trying to make it as light as possible um, and still get decent adhesion to the honeycomb cells. I'm going to break some when I'm finished and uh, check the little fillets of resin that run up into the honeycomb cells. Make sure everything is bonded nicely. So I flip it over right in there and I made sure those wood sticks that go around the outside are exactly the same thickness as the honeycomb so there won't be any bridging up uh, around the edges. I'm going to throw the old bag stack back on. Pull the bag over, seal it up and suck it down just like before. Come back a day later, demold it. I got a pretty good shock from the carbon table when I pulled this off. Uh, the bottom side does not look any different still a lot of porosity pinholes in the surface this is only one layer of RC200 so it's uh, pretty light I trimmed it up to a one by one foot square using a copy cutter on a router and a piece of G10 and some double stick tape and the edge looks really nice it's very lightweight uh, the glue forms nice fillets against the honeycomb cells and it's all very well bonded the panel one foot square, 136 grams, and 4.6 ounces. Thanks for checking out the Explore Composites Materials Library. See you next time.